there was footage being shown on MSNBC of the Coast Guard giving an update to the rescue efforts with Hurricane Florence. And in the midst of them giving an update, people noticed something on the side of a particular guy throwing up that white supremacist, white power signal that they've been throwing up. Now, they've been doing this uh, in pictures in police departments. They've been doing this. Uh, we saw that at the confirmation hearing uh, with the Supreme Court nominee. And every time they deny it, they say, you're crazy. Um, it's a joke on the liberals. It's always something to tell you you're crazy. But I told you guys before, if the white supremacists are speaking to you, they're lying. Well, let's roll that little short clip. Thank you, Ali. Uh, as you uh, mentioned, the, uh, with the uh, changes in the forecasted uh, weather, uh, the forecast uh, track of the storm, we've actually started to... Uh So after people caught that and they're saying, hey, what the hell? We got this white supremacist in the Coast Guard. Um, yes, they're in every branch of the military, Coast Guard, Marines, Army, uh, Navy, Air Force. They're everywhere. National Guard, Army Reserve. They are everywhere. They're in the grocery stores. They're in the doctor's offices. We've seen that. Um, they are in the courtrooms. They are district attorneys. They're judges. They're everywhere. I told you. The white supremacy goes a lot deeper than the Ku Klux Klan and the alt-right and uh, neo-Nazis. I mean, that's the ones you can see. The, mo the majority of them is the ones you don't see. They go to their jobs every single day. Now, if this was so much of a joke and um, it's no big deal and people making a, a, a thing about it and, you know, the white supremacists come tell me, oh, you're just being the black Alex Jones. Well, why would the Coast Guard put out this tweet? which says, we are aware of the offensive video on Twitter. The Coast Guard has identified the member and removed him from the response. His actions do not reflect those of the United States Coast Guard. Now, you removed him, but where did you put him at? I mean, I think something should happen to him about this because that is very serious. There are African-Americans that's in the Coast Guard as well, so I think they will want to know what's going to happen with this guy who's clearly throwing up a white supremacist hand sign. See, brothers and sisters, we have to call them out every chance we get. We catch them doing that on TV. Um, you catch them doing that on your job, wherever they're doing it, at, catch them, call them out. Don't believe nothing they say. Don't engage in arguments with them because they're going to come tell you you're crazy. Because remember, we talk about the white supremacist being the devil that the Bible speaks of. So Satan's greatest trick is to let you know and make you think that he doesn't exist. Same thing with the white supremacy. What is white supremacy? That doesn't exist. Prove to me white supremacy exists. I mean, they ask you dumb rhetorical questions. And even the scriptures teach, if you argue with a fool, you become foolish. So that's why I say don't even speak to them. Don't go back and forth with them. Uh, you know what's going on. You know the history of what they have done to not only us, the Native American, and anybody else that they have come into contact with under the guise of this racism and white supremacy that they believe in and will die for. But keep calling them out, brothers and sisters. Keep on watching. Uh, keep showing and put it up on the Internet. Trust me, the mainstream media would not, will not, will not call this out. You are the ones that's controlling uh, the media cycle, not them. But leave me a comment. Let them know what you think about this particular story. Now, it makes me wonder how many more white supremacists is running around. They so-called trying to rescue black people. Man, black people better be careful with these storms and evacuate when they tell you to evacuate because you don't want to be in the hands of these white supremacists.